All right. I'm standing on top of a disc by cleaning it off. It is May. It's Memorial Day, the 29th of May. And we put an, we put another 23 acres of hay on the ground. Um, this is back here at the neighbors. There's the bluegrass tower. You know where the you've seen this before. Running running beans and everything. Um, this was corn last year. And beans the year before. But uh, this is what the landowner's idea of cover crop was wheat and there was mostly rye grass in it and as you can tell it's gone over the hill pretty bad it needed to be cut like two to three weeks ago um, but uh, two weeks ago almost three weeks ago that front field and it's back a patch we mowed down and now two three weeks later we're getting the rest of it down there's 18 acres here and we mowed we mowed, a five, we, mowed, we mowed a five acre patch of ours next to the what was the alfalfa field. It's beans now, but that five acre orchard grass field and that's all we're mowing. Uh, so we don't know what the weather's gonna do, but that gets, that'll get this bailed up by Wednesday because there's, go, there's beans going in here. And uh, my uncle wasn't really happy with this right here because it makes it a difficult time to uh, plant beans in behind no-till that is no-till beans right in behind the uh, rye slash wheat ground but oh well just got to take what you can get but uh not only are we mowing hay but the neighbor right over across the road here and i saw somebody back there probably about a half a mile or so uh mowing back there um uh, so we're trying to beat the weather. Uh, too wet to spray and, well, I don't know about spraying, but it's too wet to plant beans. My uncle's about, is ready, to, is wanting to get the beans done. But there's nothing we can do about that, so we can try and, try and get this hay done while we, uh, Got a little break in the weather, but this weather is killing us. It is killing us. So, anyway, we'll go home and unhook and refuel. So, let's check y'all later. All right, now that I have an actual camera filming, unlike yesterday, uh, we're actually rolling back here at the neighbors. This is 18 acres, and look at all the freaking bales we've got. My uncle started rolling this afternoon. I came back here and uh, finish, finish, he's finishing up for him. This is an eight. This is a 18 acre field, and I've already got 87 bales. I'm working on the 88th bale. So it's all that rye, wheat, grass back here. Um, I'll probably stick the uh, little bit of mowing on the first of this but uh these windrows are so big that it's almost the width of the tracker axle and the baler baler puka too so anyway i had to i gotta have two hands to do that anyway um yeah i'm on my last windrow too surely and I'm only running about three and a half to four mile an hour because while that material is bone dry that is still a crap ton of material going into that baler. I hope you can be able to tell I can't really get much of a better view but like I said it's almost as wide as the pickup is and these levels on this monitor are running right up there at the top so taking it slow. I took it slow ever since I started. And, uh, slowly but surely I'm almost done. So we, I get this finished up. I've got there's a little grass patch back behind my house. Uh, my dad mowed. That was his garden but it didn't feel like uh, 
put it out in garden. I think that's what it is. If I get two bales off of it, I'll be doing good. But anyway, uh, we'll do that, and then uh, we'll be decent with hay right now. Um, they're hollering rain for the weekend. It's Wednesday, so we ain't going to mow any more hay. But like I was saying, uh, they're hollering rain for the weekend, so uh, we ain't going to mow anything else. Of course, all we got left is that uh, 33 acre field. Um, yeah, all we got is 30, about 30, 35, 30, 33 acres to go. And uh, one more field. So, while it ain't too bad, we did get started earlier than usual this year. But the rain is just, the weather's been so awful that it's not very good haymaking weather. So, we just take, we just mow a certain amount of acres when they holler a three-day stretch and make sure we get that bailed up and hit it the next. Uh, my uncle is uh, top dressing corn right now. Um, he, uh, the first field he planted, he's being, he's top dressing it now. And, uh, I think he's going to do, I, th I think we'll talk it over tonight, but I think we're going to get the next field tomorrow, too, and go ahead and start top dressing some of this corn. So anyway, thanks for watching.